Tara earlier, my my business started as a um, as a result of pandemic, and um, in twenty twenty no yeah twenty twenty one. Yeah. Um. Uh, so, uh, kind of just to, to give you a, give you everyone a, a headline of my my journey to how I how I found on route uh, was uh, three years ago. I I was going through a midlife crisis and decided to quit my job. And um, it was kind of related to my personal story where I um, my dad uh, sadly passed away after ten. 10 plus years of dealing with leukemia and um so we had like a like a, a whole decade of him kind of keeping him strong while he was going through all the 450 series of ke uh, chemotherapies and treatments and various things and uh so when he was diagnosed we changed his lifestyle we 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 started juicing our you know f uh, juices and vegetables fermented fermented beetroot juice which is now my signature drink um that i sell on the route and uh so when he passed away i had you know i had this huge passion for healthy eating and knowledge and uh, as a, i also decided to, to qualify as a nutritionist so um that's what i wanted to do i had this strong calling that my my mission on this planet is to educate people about quality healthy eating and mm -hmm. power of um healthy foods, um, rightly sourced and, and supplements. And I, three years ago when I decided to do it, I had this really clear vision in my head. I've never ever been cleared, this cleared in my life about what I wanted to do next. So I was like, you know, That's I need so to amazing. do it. And so I got my qualification in March, 2020. And, um, you know, the world stopped and everything. We had to kind of change our thinking and on route was, was born from from a desire to help people when everyone was working from home uh i've heard so many complaints from friends and people and neighbors that you know they were like stuck to zoom back to back meetings they couldn't go to the toilet which is uh, still, still the reality <laughs> <we're still laughs> doing it, yeah. and everyone was complaining to me mm -hmm. about how tired they are they can't get out of bed there's no energy so my, my first question was like, so what do you have for lunch? And they said, oh, I don't have lunch. I don't have time for lunch. So then I just felt, oh my God, I need to help those people. So I've created this, this lunch box um, that was literally a really good nutritious soup, uh, a little shot. So either fermented beetroot juice, a uh, ginger shot, like with all the superfood shots and a, and a brain bomb, which is an afternoon uh, sugar-free healthy snack mostly made of healthy fats. So like avocado truffles with loads of nuts, chia seeds. I often add ashwagandha, which is the Ayurvedic um, is stress resilient powder, supplement powder. So all my ingredients are beyond healthy and they're designed to keep people at the optimal productivity throughout the working day. So they don't fall asleep at 3 p.m. and they still can carry on and you know attend to their life family lives after work and uh, and and i had a huge you know huge amazing feedback and um yeah i started uh, delivering to like three streets um in, three streets in the vicinity of where i lived and now i'm available for deliveries across london and soon um because of two daddy i can be i can expand to the whole nation which is amazing <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so my you know my, my mission is um proving that it was supposed to happen so I'm, I'm really pleased that it's such a great you know such a great um feedback it's i have so many regular customers it's incredible it's fantastic to hear the story and 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 also to to know your background as well Dorota, because you were saying like you started from from the restaurants industry which is yeah. quite interesting as well so we'll come back to that and 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 keep on talking okay. about the, your journey um who wants to go next sean you have okay. <laughs> because i uh i started because of like a personal race reason as well similar to the rota really like you know because i feel it with my in myself and i think our mission is pretty similar because of um me i'm son by the way sorry <laughs> and that's, hello that's, your, that's one of your dreams yeah, that's, right that's my dream <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so um, I'm introducing 
this drink called Jin Jin, which is a new category of drink. It's a type of fermented drink that's designed to boost our mood and health, like keeping our well-being at best. It's yeah. made from 34 ingredients and it's all like fermented. So like it's packed full of goodness. Mm -hmm. and, it's, um, it's, it's made from 35 uh, different fruits and yeah. vegetables. Yeah. 35 different fruits, vegetables, mushrooms, mm -hmm. all the good you can think of really. Packing in like this concentrate bottles. Um, it's still new in the industry because we believe that we're the first one in the country and no one have like something similar. But can I just time... say, can I just say, sorry to Please. interrupt you, that when I first uh, tried it, it reminded me, I don't know if you guys have ever been to in, in Modena in Italy, but it, it, it actually reminded me an aged vinegar. Ah, really? Yes. <laughs> like a, an aged balsamic vinegar. And I find it I find it delicious when I drink it, but I also find it delicious on food. I don't know if, if you if you feel the same, uh, Sean, about it. <laughs> what what, what happened you what did you do with it? Like how, did you mix it with water, sparking water, or do you like copper? <laughs> I mix it with uh, soda, it. soda and lime, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so um, back back to like what I'm feel similar, like strongly, my passion similar to Dorota is I think the pri primary purpose of Tintin is to make the world a better place from mm -hmm. the within. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, Jin Jin could help make you feel uh, at your best with your well-being and all. Similar yeah, to, absolutely. like, all that nutritionist that Dorota has created. And for me, the per personally, I believe that, like, when you feel at best, you start spreading the positive energy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so like I want uh, to create this business to um, make people um, be a part of people's journey to the better yeah. well-being or healthier living. Which is who you are as well, right? It's, Sorry? it's who you are as well. You're, you're it, for, for, for me, who I had the chance to know you before, is you're this <laughs> super energized and happy person. And, and I guess you communicate that to everyone, which is fantastic. A bit, a bit busy here yeah. and there, but actually it's a good thing. <laughs> um, hi, guys. My name is Nehalika. I'm the founder of Mellow Wellness, which is a well tech platform. And we also launched in uh, last year. So we launched at the tail end of 2021 in December, just about 10 days before Christmas. Um, my background is in design. So I, that's how I've known Hara. We, we worked together close to a decade ago, which seems crazy to I think. Know. But, uh, but uh, I spent my entire career building digital tech businesses from the ground up. And, uh, and that's what I was doing till about... Um, 2018, when um, I would potentially consider, a, you know, the high peak of my career, I was traveling all over the world. I was working um, on some of the most interesting projects with some of the most interesting people. It was great. But then, um, then I suffered from a severe burnout, which was my second burnout in about five years. And that was the second time round was much harder than the first. I was, I had severe physical body pain. Like I couldn't I couldn't walk much. I couldn't sit for long hours. I had to stand and work. Um, I couldn't travel that much. So it was really hard to sit on airplanes every week. And all of that sort of culminated into just exhaustion mm -hmm. and a lack of purpose, which I think, um, I think maybe everyone's felt a lot more during the pandemic as well. And, um, and that took a long time to recover. I, I went from doctors to a physiotherapist, a therapist, and it just didn't quite not, nothing quite worked till I realized that, uh, uh, that, that there was a fundamental issue in the way we were actually understanding health and well-being, which was that you had a whole bunch of practitioners and doctors and very clever, educated people who were, who were treating your mind because a lot of the burnouts are, is seen often as a mental issue, like your mental exhaustion, mental stress. 
but then you had a whole bunch of people who but they didn't quite understand how your body worked because that's not just not how they were taught and then you had a whole bunch of people who understand nutrition and health and physical body but they didn't quite understand how the mind worked and it i felt like i had both the problems i was just running from one doctor and one practitioner to another till i happened to just take a break um i went back to uh back to my my hometown back in india and i went to a um, to to somebody who was actually a holistic life science doctor and, and he was like well it's a bit of both isn't it so he we kind of switched to a lot of um natural things that were really great i'm a vegetarian i've been a vegetarian all my life and now i eat so uh in the last 39 years so i I've, i've got really healthy diet i don't you know i don't have any i don't uh i don't smoke so i've got a i've got a pretty clean uh, hopefully my insides are pretty clean um so it wasn't about shifting diet it was about really joining the dots and that's when i realized and with the pandemic it became so apparent reading reports and people talking about how exhausted and burnt out they are and how mental health issues are on the rise and this complete uh lack of acknowledgement that burnout has a physical problem which is untreated so that's where mellow started which is we bring together products and services uh and our products are either ayurvedic inspired so we use completely neil, ne- uh, clean natural ayurvedic products because for those who don't know ayurveda is a life science that believes that nature has a solution to all your problems so everything that we use um from guava leaves to ashwagandha to different seeds are all designed to help uh the symptoms of burnout so we bring together different products and services um that enable you to look after your mind and body together to tackle some of your challenges like burnout so the first challenge that we've launched with is looking at burnout uh-huh. and that includes yin yoga we do a lot of art therapy we believe in whole body thinking whole body therapy so not just mindfulness which just treats again one part of your part of yourself but we do art therapy we do yin yoga we do pranayama so we, uh, we do food therapy so we do a lot of uh, holistic therapy and uh, we've got some delicious um, boosters which are entirely uh, created by some amazing ayurvedic doctors yes that's the one for design of sleep yeah. um but i i would i would like to say just one last bit which is that we work primarily with um similar to similar to you um which is about you know being good for the planet and good for your health so we everything we do is sustainable and all our products are made by hand by female artisans which is amazing and we contribute yeah. reforestation efforts we create everything as biodegradable it goes back into the soil um and we offset whatever carbon that we uh, footprint that we can to reduce our carbon footprint um and also we support mostly female female practitioners so all the products have been made by female doctors ayurvedic doctors as well so that's that's i think one of the best things about doing what i do every day that's fantastic me her again you touch touch upon sustainability and and you know ingredients their provenance and who who we support when when we make a product or when we buy a product and i guess um that's where our mind is as well how can we um you know start convincing one person at a time that even it, when you make one decision whether it is buying something or actually making something the ingredients that you put um in into it uh, really really matter and i guess from from your experience ladies like you've you've been on your own journey selecting ingredients uh to make your own products so how how is sustainability important to you and for your businesses and how can you see it i, I guess impacting you and changing what you do in the future So I guess I guess it's going back to me. So uh so how I started my business and obviously it was um a, I needed to grow organically and be kind of um sensible with the, with the orders and as a result my business is very sustainable. So it's basically based on a pre-order. So um I make um uh, my customers have menus uh cut off day time is 24 hours or however many hours before the delivery and then I know how much to produce mm-hmm. uh so therefore I avoid waste as much as possible uh and I really don't like to make big batches of soups for example and then freeze it because then it loses the nutritional value and it's not the same thing so I really I really ensure that everything is as fresh as possible mm-hmm. um and uh my recent uh so packaging obviously is very uh, sustainable 
as much as I can get it from the supplier. And again, it's another issue with um, with how the packaging, you know, the whole journey of it, like, you know, how it's recycled in certain uh, countries and places, councils. Uh, so that's, that's another big topic. Um, but, you know, the things that we can do um, is to re reduce the usage. So reduce, reuse, recycle as, uh -huh. as the last source. So by reduction, so I do my, um, my shots, uh, my shots are in glass bottles, so they can be, I, customers often uh, return them to me. So I'm like a milkman, but shot man, <laughs> lady. <laughs> so that's another one thing of, of make, making it a sustainable. My other kind of, I, uh, um, a recent discovery of how because how I can what can I do with food waste so I make love shelf so it's ginger turmeric uh, black pepper and honey so I hand squeeze the, the the seeped vegetables but then I have this pulp left over of all the ginger and turmeric so um, what I did uh, to save it I dry it so I dehydrate it uh, in an oven for like seven hours that's probably not very sustainable in terms of energy usage but so I need to think about clever better ways we need to we need for sunshine to come up <laughs> um, so I, I dry it and then I grind it to a powder and then I reincorporate it into a honey so then I have this really amazing ginger turmeric honey which I then oh, use okay. to uh, sweeten the, the uh, ginger shots so it's like mm -hmm. literal like full cycle uh, of um, of the ginger journey. <laughs> yeah, so, I can so, the, that being, being so the ginger well. honey will be my next product as well. Yeah. So I'll, I, will, I, will, I will let you know when it's ready. I'll send them to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I tried it. It tastes delicious. It's really punchy. I had it yesterday with hot water. So it's just like really nice and, and you know, perfect for this kind of weather. And obviously I buy organic ingredients. I, I choose my suppliers who have really good provenance of, um, of, the, uh, of, of sourcing. Uh, I use Riverford for uh, most of my ingredients. They're, you know, they're an amazing company. They're B Corp. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's part of my values as well as, as a business. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's um, something you, you touched upon, you know, multiple topics around sustainability, which is fantastic. Um, Niharika, Sean, who wants to go next? Go for it, Sean. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I can't wait to try that ginger and honey. <laughs> oh my God, when you come back, I'll say. <laughs> yeah. say. <laughs> Would love, love, love to try all your stuff, really. Um, for me, like sustainability is, is, shouldn't be something special anymore. It should be a norm. Everyone should okay. think of sustainability. We live in mm -hmm. a fast-paced world, really. And sustainability should be like every, everything that people should have it in them. Yeah, you know, we, you should, we should always think about it. Yeah kind of thing. Uh, my, my products uh, make from 35 ingredients, like I just told you earlier, and it's all like tropical fruit, vegetables, and it only uh -huh. makes sense to make in Asia because it's tropical fruit and vegetables. In order to make it uh -huh. in the UK, I need to, it costs the, the world a bit more, not a bit more, a lot uh -huh. more. If you imagine <laughs> like if you uh, import a cut of pineapple to squeeze like to must liquid or if you make it in Asia and then liquid is already squeezed and shipped it to the UK. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe something yeah, yeah, absolutely it makes more sense to 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 ship one one time, I guess that's what you're saying. When a product because um, we have the luxury of being in a country that has evolved a lot throughout the past decade when it comes to food and, you know, ingredients um, that weren't as available before now they are. And organic has evolved as well. Um, and permaculture and all, yeah. <laughs> and all the, the things that we, we are trying to, to do to make this planet better. But there are, there are products and there are instances, and we're all aware of that, that not everything yeah. can be made in the UK. And that's not the world moving forward necessarily. We choose locally wherever we can, but wherever 
there is no option for it. It's absolutely fine to 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 bring something from uh, from another country, but perhaps in the most sustainable manner. And you know, there is a lot of talks out there around. Yeah. Uh, slow deliveries or one delivery um, yeah. and that's something we're we're also thinking the whole time and, and working on it is certainly like really but um i also know that i cost the i create like a lot of carbon footprint mm -hmm. like things mm -hmm. so now it, like dinjin is also partner with the organization on pre-planted Yeah. I wouldn't say like we are carbon neutral company, but we working towards that. Whatever yeah. we like carbon, we want to eliminate that by planting trees and all Makes that sense. as well. Talking about like delivery of courier within the domestic um, mm -hmm. address, which well specifically in London, I would say I'll try to get like partner with like the bike delivery, and now we did. We partnering with this great company called Hive. Mm -hmm. That like, yeah. everything. Cool. Fantastic. So, yeah. yeah. And Niharika. Oh, oh, sorry. Sean. Sorry, that's yeah. a <laughs> the connection. Amazing, amazingness. <laughs> um. so in terms of sustainability, we're doing a lot of similar things as well. So we partner with. Um, we wanted to. Think about sustainability. One is operationally. Uh, the second one is uh, just in terms of people we work with as well. How can we create a sustainable lifestyle for people we work with? Which is one of the reasons why we chose to, you know, make, have linen pouches for all our for our for our products. Because then, when you when you finish making it, you can just even if you chuck it on the street, it's going to disappear. It's just made by linen. And our manufacturers work with. Um, Female artisans who make them by hand, so it gives them livelihood at it, and they also contribute to reducing plastic in the oceans or the fair trade policies. So we we try to look at sustainability as a chain, um, and with and then that sort of evolved into the practitioners we work with. What sort of like model do we have for people who are running and designing Yin Yoga courses, and art therapy courses, and all sorts of like practices for us. How can we create a sustainable workspace for them? How can we create opportunities for them? So I thought a lot about sustainability because our motto was to be good for your health and to be good for the planet. So we're doing. We also work with One Tree Planted. We after eight weeks of trading, we've started contributing uh, some percentage of our profits uh, to uh, to grow trees in the Himalayas, which is where a lot of our stuff comes from to offset the the the, the carbon the, the you know the carbon footprint that we have. Um, The packaging is sustainable and biodegradable, but also we work with manufacturers who then do good. So I think sustainability. The way I want to grow this further, I'm I'm happy with the way we started, but the way I'd like to grow it further is think about sustainability as a chain reaction, more than just an operating model. So everything that we we everyone we work with, can we offer them greater opportunities for them to then do good, and then you know they contribute to good things. And then that way it, it becomes our impact is much wider. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to continue doing. So that yeah, that's my short answer to what why we. Um, it's exciting. It's it's a topic that is never like never enough to talk about, and um, you can go quite deep. Um, and and I think it's worth us keep you know to keep the discussion alive and keep on discussing how uh, as as a community how we make an effort to. To become better, better, better suppliers, better buyers, um, uh, better uh, have better deliveries, and, and so on. And um, I, I want to ask as well. You know what? What is uh, next for for each of you, each and every every one of you? Um, and, and 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 yeah, hear hear all about that as well. What's uh, next for you guys for 2022? It was actually, did you know that yesterday it was uh, a rare phenomenon? It was, wasn't it the, uh, the 22nd Tuesday. of the second month for 2022? So we had... Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. And also it was on a Tuesday. So it was a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> it 
exactly right. Uh, what's next? What's what's coming next for you? Uh, what's next? So yeah, I think uh, so. You know, on route currently uh, operates from my kitchen. Uh, so and it's just me. I uh -huh. uh, I make everything myself and except for deliveries. I used to do deliveries myself as well, but then I just didn't have time to do anything else. <laughs> uh, so um, the next step is for me to uh, explore renting uh, like dark ghost kitchens, uh, so commercial fitted kitchens. Uh, build a team and uh and grow it further as uh, as a result and ideally i would like to be um i would like to be a, a subscription type business where people can build their own lunchbox um uh -huh. and uh so and and i'd like to keep it around the lunch uh items because i think like lunch is really important and it keeps us going um because you know dinner we often go out and it's more social than lunch and um uh, and and it's and we need to feel optimized and productive throughout the day so so that's um that's my mission i want to create like a on route beyond healthy club um with lots of you know um kind of tips and 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 advice nutritional advice for people as well how to you know what what to do how to keep myself energized and in 2022 i'd like to have i'd like to focus on collaborations with like the one uh -huh. we're doing with jinjin um, and and uh, you know meeting amazing people and sharing same uh, same message and like what we are doing today with you guys it's like you know the more the more we talk about healthy uh, lifestyle and living the more people will will hear it and you know it will inspire more people as well uh -huh. so so i feel like this is my yeah this is my mission for this year to to grow communities uh, and be part of communities like to delhi and you guys doing an amazing thing um and yeah grow it organically further and see see where it takes me uh, fantastic sounds sounds so lovely and and for us as well we had a break we had a physical event just before the pandemic started and then we lost that um opportunity yeah. of getting closer together with our suppliers but also the chefs uh, both professionals and and home home chefs as well so i think this this what we're doing now is an excellent opportunity to reconnect and and hear about you guys and what you need and what you're doing so yeah niharika <laughs> what's next for Melo? when when somebody says that about three million things pop up in my head <laughs> <'Cause> I, <laughs> to-do list um which is a bit of a problem the to-do list making but uh, but so we are actually launching a subscription plan this weekend so keep a look out if people are interested uh so you can subscribe to all our boosters the ayurvedic inspired products uh, and then we can we can kick that that off so that's a big one that's happening for us we're starting to grow our team as well so hopefully the next few months we will have uh a small team to start off with. We've already got a really great uh, set of people who work with us, but we're just going to formalize that a bit more and bring people in house. So that's going to be the second one. And then we're starting to work on uh, two products entirely focused on women's health. Oh, amazing! Uh, they happen by the summer, and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to launch a, a month long pranayam course, an on demand course for women, um, uh, which is going to be entirely focused around. Uh, helping women lead a disease-free life. So that is also going to happen in the next three months. But yeah, those are the top few things that, uh, but obviously a lot of things about the settling business and heading, putting it in the right direction. Amazing. Amazing. Sounds, sounds exciting. Uh, they're not, they're not the million things. I think it's very fun. <laughs> sounds, sounds good. <laughs> Sean, what's next? Yeah, for me, like that, that's a lot of things that I wanted to do with Jin Jin, really. Um, like I mentioned earlier, like Jin Jin's mission is to spreading the positive vibes and, you know, love. And mm -hmm. I know it sounds but it is true. It's a, the world. <laughs> no, it's true, yeah. I just want, like, people to not learn about Jin Jin as much as possible. For this year, I want to create Jin Jin as a lifestyle brand in instead of just one like drink mm -hmm. you know like i just want to to introducing like the well-being or like a good a, a good way to go 
yeah you know the direction walking towards the well-being kind of thing maybe is it worth like, mentioning it, both is it of worth, you like sorry is it is it worth mentioning that you had um you've spent some time in passion <laughs> Like because it's, like, it's just totally different. Like so, basically, oh, I think like, like, not like nutritionist or anything at all. Like I started this from nothing. My my background is in art completely, and I work in like art industry for a really long time. But then, like you know, like when you grow up and your priority has shifted here and there, and now I think what I believe in is the communities, the world. We can make the world a better place. Before this session, uh -huh. I did like the Rota in person once, and like she did say, like she created her brand to heal the world, and I was like, oh my god, you my soulmate! <laughs> like, <laughs> <this thing. laughs> you ask me how can can you believe it? Like, I mean, like I can't believe. It. <laughs> I But have to say, it's it, For, uh, so so back to what I'm um, like my plan this year or like the future of Tintin. My mission is to want to um, spread the word about Tintin. I want people to give it a try, try it, feel it for yourself. Feel good. If you don't feel good, it's not gonna harm you anyway. It's just gonna give you like this nutrient to boost your energy during the day or like maybe perhaps help you with hangover or help you with like digestive mm -hmm. system. Um, but then talking about lifestyle brand, I want to, this year, I want to partner with a lot of people. I did have like mm -hmm. initial talk with the Rotors about like a month ago or like a few weeks ago that why don't we just start something? Maybe we can yeah. make a supper club or something, create yeah. like this event that people actually can come and try and learn a bit more about us, not just us. About about the world or about wellness. many many suppliers, yeah. many wellness like, people. Maybe like <laughs> during the dining experience, actually help them in a certain way as well. That's it. Yeah. Makes sense. I know. Like, I'll yeah. Usually, how to how to how to in, how to indulge without the consequences of overindulgement. So you know, there are <laughs> clever hacks on how to. Yeah. You, know, you still can go out and have nice dinner. But make sure you drink your ginger and make sure you yeah. have, you know, you eat in the correct order. Yeah. So, so yeah, it might, it might be perhaps, um, it might be nice if you, if you guys do a collaborative wellness almost, yeah. um, I don't want to call it seminar or <laughs> anything like that. But I think there is, um, there is, there are multiple ways to communicate wellness and we're all coming from different perspectives. And if we can be the forum th for that, it would be amazing. But um, it's interesting to hear different perspectives and how wellness is perceived because you cannot have five nutritionists or 10 but every single nutritionist or every person that has a relationship with food they have their own approach and methodology yeah, uh, yeah. and it's about finding the right one for you so it would be fantastic like if you were all coming together to share that knowledge and share um how routines niharika and how behaviors um uh, dorota and, and sean can can actually uh, make us behave better when it comes yeah. to food and choose healthier options. I think that would be fantastic. Yeah, that yeah. sounds... Um, yeah? That's amazing. I mean... <laughs> Imagine if we could do that physically as well. That would be so amazing. <laughs> In the summer, maybe. That'll be yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, look, I'm I'm delighted we had uh, we had this chat. It was the first one for us, uh, and thank you so much for uh, for joining in. I want to mention that you know your products are all available on Tideli for people to find that for, to find more information on and to even buy online and and get them to their homes delivered. Um, and thank you again. It has been a delight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Or Sean, what time is it there? It, oh, I'm actually in Thailand. Everyone. 
yeah. arrived today. <laughs> <in Turkey>. <laughs> <laughs> Almost one o'clock in bed. It's fine. I'm going to go to my hotel. Thank you so much. But I like really for <laughs> hosting this. Um, I'm really honored to be like here and then like get to connect to like these two amazing women as well. Well, that's awesome. Awesome. I know it's it's such it's, it was it was so amazing to you know to get to know each other better and spread the help yeah. to to the wider audience and yeah meet you all guys and I hope yeah we'll meet in person. Yeah, uh, soon and uh, yeah, watch this space. Jin Jin and En Route will be <laughs> will be creating something special. Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> Thank you. All. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you again. And uh, yeah, what? <laughs> Sorry, I was just we've lost it. Anyone have any question like regarding Jinjin? I know it's like a new drink. Oh yes, that's a very good point. Like just, just, just text me. Give me a buzz. <laughs> I'll be there to answer, or I'll be there anyway yeah, any to just say hello. <laughs> uh, any questions? Uh, just <laughs> message uh, Jinjin, Onrit, Melek, or ourselves at uh, to Delhi, and we will be there to answer. And thank you all for joining today. It has been amazing to have you all here. Um, such a fantastic Wednesday evening. I didn't expect it. Thank you, ladies. Such thank, a you. So <laughs> thank you so much. For thank you, everyone, for joining. Bye. 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 See you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye.